we won it against all the odds we send liverpool crying back home you just love to see it you know what i love the most about this match is the post match reactions andy robertson is crying saying it shouldn't have gone to extra time of course it shouldn't have gone to extra time rashford should have scored his chance and we should have won not only that even klopp was crying you can feel his tears from this when he start talking back to the interview it's just so fun to see every single pundit every single you know fan channel was saying liverpool will win they took it for granted that winning at old trafford is going to be easy i'm not going to lie even i thought liverpool might win easily but i still had that hope that united will do the comeback that united will do the miracle of beating liverpool and we did it i'm so so happy about it there's just so much to talk about this match so let's start with the actual game during the first 30 minutes i think we actually played the best football we have played this whole season our passing was fast we were doing one one touch passes two touch passes we were winning the ball high up we were winning second balls bisaka had salah in, in the pocket dalo had diaz in the pocket it just it was just so good to see that this team can actually play football that they know how to play football which is a surprise and of course mctominay scored his trademark poacher goal mctominay is now the second highest goal scorer for united this season which is just amazing to think of and that shows his quality and also his drawback that yes he's a good goal scorer but when you have mctominay in the team there's always going to be a lot of space in the midfield and look at this picture here liverpool had this condition multiple times in the game where they were just running through an empty midfield there was nobody to stop them and that's always going to happen when you have mctominay starting in the midfield but credit to him he got a goal he got an assist he played really well the problem for this game came as soon as we considered the goal you know it's a loser mentality of manchester united we have seen throughout these years as soon as we considered a goal a team forgets how to play football the first goal we conceded it was a deflection you know the problem with that goal is that rashford led this in the back triple past him he didn't even contest it properly right he let him pass he they scored the goal second goal also of liverpool was our mistake is that we were taking too long to pass the ball bruno falls over they cross they score but let's not focus on the negatives you know we all know how bad the second half was how it felt like it was a training session for liverpool we couldn't touch the ball we couldn't do any attacks we couldn't couldn't do any passes the players looked like they weren't interested in winning the game they felt are motivated but somehow somewhere anthony stepped up against all odds anthony scored anthony i couldn't believe it Not only did Anthony score, Anthony scored with his right foot. Not only did he did he score with his right foot, he scored after spinning. So that's like the perfect Anthony goal, and just it just felt so good to just equalize in the 87th minute. And it was the weirdest match because it couldn't really be defined by tactics. I don't know what Liverpool were doing. Even they weren't following tactics. Even they felt like they were on vibe. same for united we know for united that we weren't playing on tactics much at least during the extra time right and that goal changed the whole vibe of the game as soon as he scored that our team woke up we don't know why we don't know how but they woke up and from that moment on liverpool were dominated throughout the whole of the rest of the game we had so many chances to score goals right even liverpool did let's be honest even liverpool had many chances but they didn't i remember the funniest scene liverpool had a 2 versus 5 and they couldn't score that 2 versus 5 with liverpool right i was so sure they got gonna score but they messed it up on the other hand we had a 1v2 and we scored that's the difference rashford had two or three ch- chances which he could have scored right he missed one just before the uh, the normal time ended he missed one in extra time he finally scored the third one you know which shows his perseverance of not giving and then of course amad amad shows how a young professional should be right 
we all know amad is in getting enough game time but amad has not been protesting as you know a certain other young footballer at a club he is just waiting for his time he got his time today and he scored that's what footballers should do it shouldn't be like sanju who are just taking it on social media trying to prove themselves bigger than the manager bigger than the club amad waited for his turn he got his turn he scored the goal and this should lead to his brighter future at the club i'm sure about that and there were so many other good performances dalo was immense today once again dalo has been a mo- most consistent performer this season he was playing di- diagonals across the field he was tackling really well he was playing into the midfield he was one of the last defenders left on the field on onana made really good saves today onana is starting to grow into his role right and i hope he becomes a keeper which we bought him for right that he isn't the onana we have been seeing in the first half of the season and even lindelof and varan played well not only that menu of course menu was one one of the best players on the pitch even though he's 18 years old i don't know why he didn't get the england call up which is a, which is a shame but he was once again one of the best players ganajo once the crazy thing about ganajo is he was playing with a hamstring injury he only trained for two uh, days this week and yet ganajo was the player who ran for 120 minutes non stop even during the last minute of the extra time he ran the whole pitch twice once during the amad goal and once once more after there was a break from the uh Liverpool corner so that just showed his dedication and that's why we love Ganacho and Rashford he persisted it wasn't his his best game but he didn't give up Rasmus Hoyland i think he's just coming back from injury so he didn't seem fully fit he also had a decent game it he wasn't involved much in the game in the first half because we weren't creating any, any chances Bruno yes Bruno is in playing well but you can never question bruno's commitment to the club today he played with an injury right but he didn't come off he played as a center back he played as a as a quarterback who was just distributing passes when it came deep to him he, bruno is a good captain right he gets emotional but i think he's a good captain and the media likes to overrate on him for some reason or another he is a media target of complaining or whining and stuff but i think he is a good captain because he is the one player which i know on the field is committed to the club 100% even and then even maguire had a really, really good um, cameo winning the balls winning headers you know stepping high up we won this match because we had a lot of spirit after that anthony goal because we were winning the second balls and because we kept running effort and passion that's all we have been asking as as manchester united fans from the players all this season and when they put in that effort and passion we can see the results we have just defeated one of the best teams in our country and we defeated them in a really really classic manner in a united manner If you like my video so far then I would really appreciate if you can click on the like and subscribe button below it would really help me out It's currently 2:30 a.m. here when I'm recording I am so sleepy I am so tired from celebrating but I love we that we won I just love the saltiness of the Liverpool defeat because you know they were taking it for granted and they and it was just going to be so much toxic media over the next two weeks if we lost this but we got through it credit where is credit due ten hag made the right subs i was unsure what he was doing with the substitution bringing on eriksen anthony taking off menu and hoyle and sub but it worked out for him because he had the vision and he implemented it it is one of the classic fa cup games of all time and i would love to rewatch it tomorrow as well it's just such a good united game our next few games are going to be brentford away and i think chelsea so let's see what happens now if you would like to carry on the positive vibes of our united win then you can check out my reaction 
to the Everton win from la last week right here. And I will see you all again in the next video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.